So one second. Mm -hmm. The other kids are emancipated. Okay. So they have emancipated. So even if they were 17, though, you know, we're always going to treat all three the same, mm -hmm. except once they've emancipated, it's different. But I want to go back to your case really quickly. I think it sounds like the only thing we're not on the that, same well, page they, they, about they, is the amount of money. We show that the pay, the amount of money that was sent in is only $482. Um, so that's the amount that we have that's going to go to your case. So he said he showed me a receipt from his Apple account, not Apple, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. his um cash app account that he, uh, he paid 901. So we don't have that Jasper. in our office. Well, somebody need to, somebody need to uh, fix that because if they Mr. take Mr. Barry, the money that's from... going to be you. You'll need to go down to child support office and speak with okay. them. Okay. Okay. Um, so you're saying and... that, so you're saying that um, when he supposed to pay the 456, I'm getting the full amount of the 456. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you should from now on, I, I if it's two cases that are open, I show that on the other case, both children have emancipated. So what happens is the first amount, whatever he pays, the first amount will go to you and then the remainder will split. If he paid more than the amount, if he paid 600 oh. in a month, you get the first 456, the remainder will split and go towards arrears equally for both of you. To her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, and what I typically do in a situation like this is that I'm going to keep you on the calendar one more time just to make sure that your next payment is correct. And Mr. Barry, if you would like to help to facilitate this case being moved along, I'd suggest that you make that trip into child support to make sure that it's being done correctly because, um, you know, they may not be aware that those older children um, are already emancipated. So you want to make sure that they know that so that this is going to be done correctly. Okay. But you, we have you scheduled for February uh, the 2nd uh, and um, hopefully at that point, if everything is correct, um, then as long as you are making these child support payments now, um, are you making these payments individually or are they coming from an employer? No, I'm doing it. You're doing it. Okay. So you have to stay on top of it and make sure that you make these payments because that's the only way it is going to, well, you're doing it. Did I hear you say you have a job. That, it was cash, that it's cash app? Well, uh, no, I went through child support. Okay. The cash app through child support. Okay. Okay, then. And basically, I haven't received the other one because the um, $900 was supposed to be for two months that mm -hmm. he did not pay, that he was behind because he's don't have, he, don't, he don't have a job at all. Oh, my God. So, so basically, as you can hear um, how he's talking, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if, you, if he's going to get one. Okay, now let's, but, let's not get into all of that. So, so okay, wow. so I'm not sure, you know, I think child support is only seeing how much? Are you seeing a 900 uh, no, no, I, I I'm seeing the amount that I indicated um, on the form, the four hundred and fifty, the sorry, the four hundred eighty-two dollars and ninety-eight cents. And that's okay. what <laughs> so I see on my on mine as well when I look at the uh, information on my um app. Okay, so Mr. Barry, I I'd suggest that you also present that information when you go into child support to make sure that the money gets credited correctly. Okay, and I suggest that you do that. I'm sorry, quickly, because I don't want that money to accidentally go to the other parent. So I suggest that you call them and get that straightened out immediately, because I can only assume that they have not issued her money either because Miss Howard has not received hers. So make sure that you take that care of that promptly so that there is nothing, you know, because, of course, we're probably not going to be able to get that money reeled back in once it has been paid because, um, due to the arrearage and child support, you would owe that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you understand what you need to do, Mr. Barry? Yeah, yeah. And that's the question. Oh. Is there a certain um, time that he has to pay the um, the money? Because, like I said, I have to pay um, mm -hmm. the child uh, the child care for my daughter. Um, I, I had to get my son out of the child care because I didn't have any yeah. money to mm -hmm. pay for him. So basically, I was wondering, is there a certain time that he needs to well, pay me? Well, we, we do give a, a 30 day window and it, it's hard for us to control when that money comes in. But I would suggest to Mr. Barry that, you know, you know, if you can make life easier for your children, 
um, I think that's going to also benefit you. So you you need to try and be cooperative so that we can move this matter forward. Otherwise, you might be seeing this court a lot more than you'd like to, because I don't want to release this case until we have things in a good, um, you know, in a good setting. OK. Yes, uh -huh. <clears throat> OK, so I'm going to go ahead and dismiss both of you until February the 2nd, again at 830. Thank you very Thank much you. for your, your cooperation. Honor, I'd like to briefly update the Thank court. Um, since oh, the welcome. update was sent to the court, <clears throat> there has been a payment made on January 2nd in the amount of $401.50. He paid that directly to DCSS. Great. Okay. Now, still, we seem to be at about 50% of what is, of what the child support amount is. Now, um, Mr. Benjamin, is is this your 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 first payment for January, and you have intention of making a second payment? Um, I do, but I actually thought I paid it on the thirty first of December um, using a card, so I guess it didn't go over until January. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so you intended actually that that go towards For completing you. your December. Amount. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And so you are going to make two payments in January. Yep, that's my goal. Okay. Okay, and Miss Benjamin, are you receiving your monies? I am receiving um, monies, Your Honor. Um, but okay. the only reason that I'm bringing this to um, the court is because it's been sporadic um, payment, mm -hmm. and um, it's been sporadic through the the, the year 2023, and. Um, it just only appeared that once I filed this application mm -hmm. that there was payment and that um, the last payment prior to me filing was September um, of 2023. So my issue is that, you know, it, it, it only happens when when there's, you know, um, involvement with the courts and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there's no communication as to why he's not paying. Um, he doesn't communicate with me. Um, I think he has blocked me on all um, platforms. So mm -hmm. I, I'm really, you know, not sure what, you know, what's going on in that matter. I understand that Mr. Benjamin is self-employed and, um, you know, we all are going through hardships and I understand that, but a little communication goes a long way. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I have two children that I'm caring for solely on my own, um, without, you know, the assistance of Mr. Benjamin. And I just need him to, to be a willing participant. And, um, also with visitation, you know, even with him not doing visitation, I know this is not your platform either judge Scott, but you know, when you're not doing visitation, you know, that also puts the strain on me because he's not getting the children. He hasn't right. physically had our children since 2020. And, you know, that, also can be a financial burden on me if I have the children 100% of the time. So those are my concerns. Um, mm -hmm. And again, I'm willing to work with Mr. Benjamin if he communicates with me, um, but that has not been the case. He has not been compliant. Okay. So I, I know, Mr. Benjamin, that you you heard what was being said. I take it that this was through um, a divorce. How old are the children, Ms. Benjamin? Um, my daughter just turned 16 um, January 3rd, and my son is nine. Okay. 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 Um, so Mr. Benjamin, you, you know, especially for that son, you know how much he needs you. So um, you really, you know, if you can, you should try to make an effort um, to follow the visitation schedule and see if you can get him. The 16 year older, we have no control over. Once they turn 14, honestly, they probably don't want to visit much with either of you, but right. <laughs> you know, but we do what we can. Your Honor, um, just to counter that, um, that, I actually made another payment in November. And with as far as it being sporadic, I realized that with how just like how I made the payment at the end of the month, where mm -hmm. the payment will roll over to the following month, I found that out in October. And mm -hmm. so at that point, I realized because I was making making payments every month and it would be for the okay. full amount. So it would carry over to where I realized mm -hmm. once it was made known to me that that was the case. So that's where it may appear to be sporadic. As far as mm -hmm. children, and again, I know this is not your jurisdiction, but just in all honesty, that's not true. I stay in contact with my kids. And every time that I do make an arrangement to meet with my kids, it's always at the last minute that either they have plans or I have to speak with her. And before that, there was never an issue with us being able to you know, make plans 
you know, with the kids, they have their own phones. So I would communicate in that way with them. And, you know, there's no way in the world. And she knows this, that I would go four years without seeing my kids. That is definitely not the case. And she knows that. And as far as the court, as far as court goes, I mean, this is the first time we've been in court since January of 2020. So it's not a situation where she has to get court involved and all of that. It's just that now she just decided to go ahead and do this. So as far as communication goes between she and I, that I don't feel is really necessary unless it's something pertaining to the children. But anything outside of that, you know, but I am making my payments. And like I said, I did make a payment in November as well as December. So. OK, I just ask that you cooperate because it yeah. is important for the children to see you acting civilly towards one another. It makes yes, a big I, difference. I definitely agree. But, you know, okay. thank you. you. OK, you're welcome. And uh, what is my first um, my first Friday in March, please, Miss Lanier? That will be your first Friday will be March the 1st. March the 1st. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm going to reset you to then and uh, just so that I can keep an eye on things. I hear what you're saying and I, I don't doubt whatsoever that the court, it takes us a minute also to process money, um, especially when it comes in at the end of the month. It's very mm -hmm. likely it, it, you know, it, it could fall over into the next month. But I just want to have an opportunity to observe that. And um, hopefully if, um, you know, if the monies are, are being paid as arranged, then hopefully we'll be able to dismiss this matter then. Okay. Um, Judge, can I ask so, one question? Um, yes. In regards, I don't know if medical insurance is also a part of um, this jurisdiction, um, but again, he is obligated to pay medical support or keep medical um, insurance on our children. And I, he hasn't had that um, since November um, 15 of 2023. I, I'm sorry, 2022. So I'm not sure if I need to take this matter to another or superior court. Oh, for no, I think Miss Miss Arena Camarillo, you, she can update us on that. What, um, what is his status with medical? It's it's going to be that he's got to get it if it's available at a reasonable percentage of his employment. So he would need to get with DCSS regarding how much he's earning, what percentage the plan is offered at, and then if it's available um, at that percentage of his income, then he's ordered to get it. Okay. So with the divorce decree being the, if that, if there's a divorce decree, it's different. It's whatever y'all's terms were. I'm assuming okay. it was a, a one of our orders. It's whatever the terms in your plan are. Typically it's, if it's gotta be a reasonable rate, but if yours just said he's got to get it no matter what, mm -hmm. um, then I will say, you know, that he's got to get it no matter what, if he's unable to do it, it's hard to enforce that. Okay. Well, I have insurance through the, um, through the health marketplace and the kids actually qualify for a peach care. So I don't know you know, how that's working, but that's what they qualify for. Because I actually um, tried to get them under my plan, but with her being the custodian, I wasn't able to just do it under mine. So that's the notice that I got is that they are qualifying for peach care. Well, then I would work together via email to move forward on getting the kids insured. But you've got to, you know, Mr. Benjamin, if it's your responsibility, you've got to reach out to her and you want to do Thank that you. writing so that it's documented that you're making that attempt. Thank you. Know, you. Via email, you know what I mean? So this shows you're saying, this is what I need to get it set up. OK, and I'll also follow up on that um, at our, our next hearing as well so that we can make sure that everything um, is closed out in this matter. OK, you so you want to I'm sorry, Judge. Oh, it's going to be March the 1st. And also, am I able to update um, my information? Because I actually just came across this um, notification just the other day. Um, and I just happened to check because the company that I was contracting with, I no longer contract with. And I just so happened to check my email. And for some reason, um, all of my um, notifications have been going to some. It was a bogus email when I checked with child support to see why I haven't been receiving any notifications. And even with this email, I would have missed this court case today had I not just randomly gone in to check that. So how do I go about because my information as far as on the app? You know, that has been updated. I spoke to a representative to do that. Mm -hmm. But for whatever reason, um, I'm not receiving communications. And I know that it could have been, you know, a bigger issue had I not randomly gone in to check the old email that I have. So is there a way to make sure that the court has the right information to make a sure? That <clears throat> Absolutely. Um, if you could just go on the chat with attorney mm -hmm. um, Arena Camarillo. Well, right Your Honor, now. I think he's questioning if the court has the right information. He oh, okay. It with so, us, but yeah. I think he needs to be with your staff for that. Okay. Yeah. So, Miss mm -hmm. Lanier, if you could get on the chat with her, we can verify and correct whatever is going on with that email. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Will. Mr. Benjamin, I just sent you an email. So, I mean, I sent you a chat. 
I got it. Can you respond to that, please? Thank you. Yes, I can. So will you will we be notified on um you know is this going to be Zoom meeting for March first? Is um yes, it it is a Zoom and um, do they get a second notification? But you know we are you know providing you with notice now as well. Okay, and will we use the same information, um, the meeting link that we use now for today to get I into the Zoom? It, I believe it gets updated, but let me just let Miss Lanier finish, and then she can answer that. Uh, to answer your question, Ms. Benjamin, uh, you will get a, um, a mail notification as well as, like I did this time, an email okay. to remind you of okay. your um, Zoom he uh, hearing, as well as Mr. Benjamin. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Lanier. I appreciate it. No problem. And Mr. Benjamin, I did uh, put down, notated your correct uh, email address. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, then. Thank you very much um, mm -hmm. for your cooperation, both of you. And um, we will see you on March the 1st. One Thank more you, question, um, Your oh. Honor. One more question. If by sure. chance something comes up to where, um, you know, I may not be able to attend, how soon would I be able to let you all know? Well, we want you to let us know as soon as you know, so okay. that, you know, we can, you know, make plans for that. Yeah, because the reason why I ask is I know today would have been one of those days and I just didn't want to put it off because I actually mm -hmm. my mom is in ICU and I was trying to get to her because she's having a surgery this morning. So I just wanted okay. to know in the event that, you know, what would the window be? Because I wasn't sure if I was able to even, you know, change this date today. OK. And with issues like that, please just call us. OK. You okay. know, we're, we're you know, we will understand. OK. okay. And to sorry sure. to hear that. No, okay. thank you. OK. Thank you. Okay. Jessica. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. I am so yeah, sorry. I'm just I'm so fuzzy. You were like that the last time, Judge. Oh. Now, Judge, was uh, Mr. Carr wanted um because I have a, a iPhone. Was he the one that no, raised that was, his hand? No, that was Brett. Not okay. was the iPhone. because um, I heard I Mr. I, Carr. Yeah. But I don't I don't I don't see him on my listing. So, oh, but I'm yeah. I'm about I don't to bring know if in his this name huh? was there. This is yeah. I don't know if his name was there. I think it was also that I I audibly heard him. Okay. 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 So in this case, I do show that there was a payment, but it was only a fifty dollars in December, and um and the payments prior to that were very sporadic. So. Mr. Carr, can you tell me why it is that um, your payment of 264 plus 50 towards the arrearage is not being made? Because, well, it's not an excuse, but I'm not, I'm currently not working. I'm actually in the process of fixing that situation as we speak. Well, it seems to have been going on for quite some time now because... Yes. Yeah. Um, we really no, I just I just got I, I just got cleared by the uh by the doctor for me to go back to work. Mm -hmm. and I mean, so I mean, you know, I, of course I have people in the background telling me to quit doing this and quit doing that, but they don't know my situation. Mm -hmm. But um, I am working on that. I I have a job set up with Thomas Concrete. I'm waiting on the um, I'm waiting on the class to start for my CDL. Which was supposed it's supposed to start in a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. and but in the meantime, I am looking for something to you know hold me over so I can make more deposits towards my uh <laughs> child support. Mm -hmm. so, okay. I mean, okay. So, uh, about how much time do you feel that would help you to get to where you need to be? That I, I mean I don't know I'm just going I'm trying like I, I'm on my way to a a job fair now that uh, the fatherhood sent mm -hmm. me the information to so that starts at twelve so I should be there in time so I mean okay okay I'm I'm willing to be a little um lenient with you because I do see that right now your rearage is only at right around two thousand dollars and i'm sure it's because you had made a significant payment um you know last year to help with the child support 
Um, but I can only be but so lenient. We do need to make sure that, um, you know, that these children are receiving consistent support. <clears throat> so I am going to reset you to the March 1st calendar. I want you to go ahead and 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 still make every effort to pay that 264 every month. But by March the 1st, I expect that you have resolved your situation so that we can get back into, you know, a regular routine of, of paying child support. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And I'm I'm doing this at the sacrifice of Miss Davenport, who I'm sure is not happy about it, but I'm just trying to give you a little bit of time because I know that if you get accepted into one of those CDL programs, it's going to definitely make things better for the future. And I know that it makes things harder for her now, but um, but if you can make it through that, it's going to be better in the long run. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I've already been accepted. I pretty much have the job, but it's the mm -hmm. fact that the classes haven't started yet. Right, right. And I know that those take a little while as well. So I'm trying to be, you know, realistic about that. Okay, so I'm going to put you down for March the 1st. And again, I want you to make every effort to stay up on your child support as much as you can while you're going through that. Okay. Yeah, okay. And um, are you going to work with me, Miss Davenport? I'm trying, Your Honor, because every, every time that boy yeah. come to court, Your Honor, you are, you know, you always let him go. Mm -hmm. But you gotta, you gotta realize I'm the one suffering, trying to take care of the baby. And I been understand. doing that, for, been doing that for 18 years. I by myself. Believe me. By I myself, believe me. I believe me. I I do understand. I I don't want you to think for one moment that I take it lightly, but I just want to get things on the right track so that you don't find yourself doing even more work because my other alternative is to have him incarcerated and i guarantee you things go downhill from there because it goes to another court and then monies have to be paid towards probation fees and that's just less money left you know for the child okay but when you when he come to court you you ought to make it better for both of us because like i said i've been doing this all mm -hmm. by myself for 17 years and I'm no, I'm tired, y'all. I'm I'm tired. I done had a heart attack and everything. And I'm trying, you know, now I'm in mm -hmm. the process of getting put out of my apartment and still can't get no benefit from nobody. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know, you hear this, Mr. Carr. You you yes, really need to to you know you you're gonna have to speed it up because you know Miss Davenport is suffering here. So let's go ahead and and make every effort so that we can get things back on track. Okay, so I'm going to yes. dismiss both of you and March the 1st is the return date. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Jim. Okay, you're welcome and good luck to you. Okay. Your Honor, there's an update to this case as well. On December 26, uh, the respondent made a payment of $81.22. You paid that directly to DCSS. Okay. Uh, Ms. Ridley, can you turn on your camera? I'm going to try to reach out to her because it seems like she's trying to connect audio and she's having problems. So I'm yeah, about to call her. Not yeah, she didn't answer. So, okay. Um, okay. Put so, back in. okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Clark. We're just going to put both of you back in the waiting room and hopefully we can um, pull this back in later. Can yes. you hear me? I can. Okay. Have you heard it all from Mr. Gilliard? No, I have not. Okay. And the last payment that you received was in September? Um, trying to think. We show a payment of $88. That's in 2020, Your Honor. Yeah, oh, I was going to say oh it should be about goodness. 2020. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yes, that's a long time ago. Oh, so have you heard from Mr. Gilliard at all during this long span of time? I spoke to him via text somewhere, maybe August or September. And then I want to say maybe the last time he answered the phone for me was March of, was that March? Maybe March of, March of 2023. Oh, and do you know whether he's working? Uh, he's an entrepreneur. He owns his own business. Hmm. 
And I'm showing, yeah, in 2021, an additional child was born, right? So that's after that last payment. Dot A. Okay. 2000, yeah, May of 2021. Okay. And I mean, mm -hmm. that wasn't a good situation. I kind of was left at the hospital and we have, we've had sporadic bits of communication since then. It seemed like he had changed his, he had, he's very religious around that time period. Cause it had been years since we had spoken to each other. Then we had the last baby and I literally was left at the hospital. And then from there, it would just be bits of communication here and there. I talked to him around my birthday in March. Like we spoke on the phone actually. And then, um, he hasn't answered the phone. And then sometime after that, um, I got a hold of his mom and she, facilitated he would respond back to me via text but it was just that day i haven't gotten a response from phone calls text messages or anything since then okay because i am inclined miss reese to um just take out a warrant i mean there's not much i can do this is a long time and i was hoping that you would get on the phone today yeah. so you have reason to feel that he may be getting messages from the court that he is aware He's aware. He is. His, he's aware. His family's aware. It's just his, he is very invested in just, I don't know if it's me. I think it's just to ignore me and by way, the kids are getting hurt. I'm not quite, I'm really not sure of his motivation. I don't want to speak, to, speak for him, mm -hmm. but well, he's but not, we've got, he's we've with got, it. yeah, we've got $27,000 worth of arrearage here and he has a very low child support amount, $204. I mean, he really should be, you know, able to pay that. So um, I can put it on another calendar and we can try again. But I honestly, I'm more inclined to just have you come on in and sign the arrest warrant because, um, you know, he's not making any effort whatsoever. You yeah, tell I me. Think, unfortunately, I think that might be my only <laughs> He's very well off. He's very financially stable, extremely oh, financially goodness. stable. Um, so this is just a desire to behave like this. And I've done everything mm -hmm. I can. I'm very neutral with him. I try to contact him. I'm very, if you just want to talk through the children, because the oldest child is 16, he's mm -hmm. not responding to anything. So I don't know what else to do at this point. Okay. Okay. Oh, and I see um, you've already signed a warrant for us in the past. Um, oh, in the past. Yes. Okay. Um, and is that, I don't know how old it is, Miss Lanier. Is it, is it still, um, if it's still good, then we'll just move it forward. I yes, it's it. still good. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, then. Okay. So we're going to just go ahead and move that warrant forward. It sounds as if we probably had gotten to this point with him before in the past, but he still hasn't done anything. So um, we'll, we'll just see what happens from here. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome and good luck to you. I do. Yeah. Have a great day. You too. Bye. -bye. Okay. Your Honor, if I could update the court, um, there has okay. been an update. Um, the money continues to come out via income deduction order. On January mm -hmm. 2nd, we received an additional payment via wages in the amount of three hundred and ten dollars and twenty cents. Three hundred and ten dollars and twenty cents. Okay, and that would definitely take care of the. Um, that would take care of the current support amount. Um, uh, <clears throat> if I can speak, Your Honor. Yes, go ahead. So, um, unfortunately, I lost my um, my job. I was terminated on July of July fourteenth, twenty twenty three. I was not able to gain employment or, or uh, what do you call it? unemployment. Um, I did. Um, start working again on October the 30th and I do have a letter um stating and I was in contact with DHS um throughout mm -hmm. the whole process right so in the four months I contacted them let them know I was unemployed and I did contact them on my own voluntarily and I have a letter stating on 11 uh November the 6th to deduct income wages. Mm -hmm. And so the next payment she received was on November the 20th for $310. Okay, yes, and I am showing that. Um, so it does look as if the, um, the income deduction order is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, Ms. Howes, you are receiving these monies? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what we do in these situations when we see that it's working is uh, we too, do typically um, dismiss. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead, Mr. Greer. So I've been through this process with Ms. Howells mm -hmm. in Cobb County four times. Mm -hmm. And in Cobb County, they told her to stop doing this, mm -hmm. um, filing this abandonment warrant because they're wasting the time of the court. When I lose my job, I, my payment history has been significant. Mm -hmm. If I'm employed, I pay. Um, mm -hmm. This is wasting my time. I got off work at 6 a.m. this morning, mm -hmm. and I have to be at work in, six, in less than seven hours. So this is a recurring event, and it's egregious to the court mm -hmm. system that she continuously to do it. Now she's doing it in the Cap County. Um, I just asked the court to just take this in consideration for mm -hmm. my time and in my care for my children, because it, mm -hmm. it does affect my work abilities and affects my life, really. Okay. Well, hopefully it's not a situation where you're you're changing jobs, um, you know. Well, it's, it was three years she received. I was right. I was there three years. I, I was just right. was unemployed for four months. Mm -hmm. And now I'm here. So mm -hmm. can I respond, Judge? Yes. OK, so, yes, I do take him to child abandonment when he goes over 30 days. He has no proof because Cobb County has never told me to stop filing. I'm not sure where he's getting that information. Doesn't even sound like it's, it's legally I can file once you go 30 days has not payment. So every time you, he loses a job, it goes, I give him 30 days. And as you can see, I didn't, when he stopped paying in July, I didn't even file anything until August. So mm -hmm. I moved from Cobb to DeKalb County and I have to file in DeKalb County. So if he keep continuing to not pay child support for over 30 days, it's going to be filed. He only starts paying when I do child abandonment. Mm -hmm. Right. There's, there's, an, I'm, I can't do anything to stop that. And you know, that, <laughs> You have $27,000 of arrearage it's, that kind of speaks for itself. So, you know, well, you can't. And I'm paying it. That's part of my payment. Okay. It's, it's due to the arrearage. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm, I'm doing everything. Well, we, we just have to stay on top of it, um, but I am going to dismiss this matter now. Okay? Yes, I got a question, though, Judge. Sure. What is it? Okay. Because um, I just got into Cap County and I tried the Cap County Works because mm -hmm. he's just started making payments, but he has not did visitation at all with my child since May of 2023. Um, mm -hmm. Do I have to file contempt charges in DeKalb County or in Cobb County when it comes mm -hmm. to him not even doing the visitation to come getting the child? Because I read it. You have to go where you first filed it at. Or do I go where, my, where I'm living? You, at? you haven't. I'm sorry. Wh who did the existing order? Cobb County. Uh, Cobb County. Um, it's a divorce decree. And right. It, yeah, it also states that she mm -hmm. has the right to say visitation with supervision, which mm -hmm. uh, we, we can go down through that road if you want to. But we're yeah. not. If we, yeah. we can go down through that road. I'm not. OK, with but it. let me let me just explain something to you, Miss Howes. The, the court is not going to force visitation. We'll force child support. We'll force other things. But the court just, you know, if somebody doesn't want to visit with the children, you know, we have to leave it at that because. You know, we that's just something that the court doesn't do, because if for whatever reason, if he's saying that that's something he doesn't want to do, if we forced it and something happened to your child, we would be responsible. So um, that I just want to, you know, let you know that. OK. Yeah. OK. OK. So I'm going to go ahead and dismiss this. And both of you are free to go. And we do not have any future court hearing dates. OK. Thank you. Thank you. No, it's been on before. Uh, so in this case, the current obligation is $264 a month. The mm -hmm. arrear repay is $53 per month. Okay. Total arrears around $26,000, almost $27. The respondent has paid regular. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, let me step away, guys. The payment was made December 4th in the amount of $154 he paid directly, October 10th in the amount of $256 he paid directly. Prior to that, it was February 18th, 2016. Okay, so Mr. Harper, are you working? No, I'm not. I'm trying to get back employed. I just made a payment yesterday too. I don't know if it's showing up in the computer. But... Yeah, we just don't have that quite yet, but that would make sense that we don't have it quite yet. Yeah, but- um, And how, how much was that for? $205. 
Okay. I I'll I be forgetting about the fees, so you know, I charge probably like seventeen dollars to put two hundred and five on that. But I was okay. trying to see like um uh, when I went down to a uh, child support a couple months ago and was asking about my license, they told me that I had to make a certain amount of payments, right? I didn't know exactly how many payments I had to make, but I got a job lined up for me. The the job that I had, but it requires me to have my license. It's, I'm like delivering packages. Mm-hmm. So in the meantime, I just, you know, I just been saving like whatever money I can make, doing a little odd jobs. My granddad, I just save it. And at the end of the month, I just go pay whatever I can pay. Okay. So you have to go to child support in order to, you know, make some arrangements. So that about my license. Can, yeah, about your, about your driver's license. So I'd suggest that you go there and get that straightened out as quickly as possible so that mm -hmm. you can have a, you know, reliable employment that we can possibly do an income deduction order out of. Um, yeah. Right now, you yeah. know, two hundred and five yeah. is a significant amount of two sixty four. Mm -hmm. um, so you're you're not in danger of abandonment, but you do need to um, get back on track because two hundred and sixty four dollars is a very low child support amount. You you really need to stay on top of that you know, so that attention isn't brought to this case because it could very easily be increased. So, yeah, um, you know, try and stay on top of that um, up until you get this driver's license situation straightened out. Um, yes, Ms. Bailey, are you receiving the monies? Did you get the, um, I know you haven't gotten the 205, but did you get the 140 in December? Yes, I got the 140 in December. Okay. And um, I'm, yeah, so whenever I get the other... It, it 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 helps when I get it. So yes, it whenever it comes, oh, yeah, I, just, I, I, I just want to I just want to make it sure. I just I my goal is to not have him locked up and arrested. Mm -hmm. Our goal is just to get see whatever we can do to help him get on track. I don't want to see him okay. in jail. Okay. Okay. So you know, so you understand. Uh, you know, Miss Bailey is working with you. So let's oh, yeah. really make a a big effort and you know, move this behind us. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put you back on for March the 1st okay. of 2024. And that way I can kind of give you a little bit of time to get yourself together. We can get yeah. an update on what's going on with your license and see if you're able to keep that, you know, get that job and hold on to it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then good luck to both of you. Right, thank thank you. you. Okay, then. Bye-bye. Okay, I need both of you, you to raise your right hands, hands, please. Oh, the, the other hand. Oh, yes, <laughs> it's okay. Okay, do you swear that the testimony that you're about to present is the truth and nothing but the truth under penalty of perjury? Gotcha. Okay, so in your situation, I do see a payment of 154 that was made in December of this year, but it has been sporadic. You have a low child support obligation of only $264, and you have arrearages of over 26000 So tell me, what, what is going on? Are you working a job, Mr. Hill? Mm, no, ma'am. I was just released from federal prison. Um, oh. I was incarcerated for a year. So well, usually uh, there's a June. lot of, ma'am. Usually there's a lot of programs to kind of help you get back on your feet. Um, are you participating so that you can get employment? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I should be gainfully employed uh, this this month. Okay, so we're gonna you know follow up on you. Um, so since he's just been released, Ms. Shields, um, I want to give it a little bit of time, but not a lot, um, and put this back on the calendar for February the 2nd. Um, but I do need for you to accelerate that job hunt because, you know, I'm looking for you to have something this month so that we can, you know, resume child support. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Judge, I just got one one question. You said the arrears was twenty thousand. I'm showing twenty six thousand eight hundred and seventy four dollars and fifty cents. Is that doesn't sound uh, right? No, ma'am. 
Okay. Um, Miss Arena Camarie, I, th I thought it was a little suspect that it, the numbers are identical to position number seven. Is there something going on there with position number eight? Yes, Your Honor. I'm taking a look right now. I just sent um, the case number. The case number that was presented to us is not the party's case number and also not oh. the custodial parent's name. It's got Charney. And while that might be something she goes by or filled it out, like Charnel is not the name that was on there. So Yes, it looks like inadvertently this was put on there. For Mr. Hill, we have this as an establishment case. Oh. Have you all ever had support um, established in amount? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. So I'm looking at the case right now with Mr. Hill and Charnel Shields, and it is in Fayette County. Yes, and it is marked as being in the establishment function. So they are going to want to contact that office to find out what's going on with their case. Because I can only look at what they've updated on the system. The case and it might be because the case was just reopened. Did you just recently reopen the case, Ms. Hill, in November of 2023 with them? No, I, I didn't. Um, I went and got a certified copy of the final order only because that's what the division of human services said that they needed the and what they noted it. november 6 is that no support order amount was listed is that ringing a bell from a conversation with them no um, I, I talked to a, a clerk and she just printed out the certified copy they said they spoke with you november 6 so that wouldn't be a clerk that's going to be a dcss agent um and oh, yeah. saying, yep and they said that they um you provided the information for the application. You stated the order was filed May 3rd, 2021 with the kids and then named the two kids. And it says no support amount listed, no support order amount listed. Um, and there is no support order amount on there that they have entered into the system. What um, is your knowledge? What What is the, the support amount to your, you know, to your recall? Either um, of you. The support amount here on this certified copy is of $411.13. And when did that start? Um, The final date on this, the sign date was August 2nd of 2025. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. <laughs> August 25th of 2022. Uh-huh, I gotcha. Hmm. Did it say when the start date of the order was, not the date on the order? Was he incarcerated at that time? No, he was not. We okay. appeared here um, okay. prior to. Okay, great. No, once the order was finalized, I was incarcerated. I was incarcerated June of 2021. So I'm going to try and look. I, I do see that what was put instead of the DCSS case number, which was not provided, it was the the Odyssey number. So I'm going to I'm going to look and see if there's an order on Odyssey really quickly. This is the DeKalb County Superior Court where the order was entered. Is that correct? Fayette County. Fayette County. Oh, well, then, yeah. I can't. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. I thought you said it was entered here. Um, okay. So um um, Ms. Shields, you definitely want to make a trip back to Fayette County and let them know that we did not have accurate information for your hearing and that they need to put the correct information um, into the system. Um, so I have you as a reset on February the 2nd. So if you could kind of do that before then so that the next time we meet together, we can make sure that we're up to date um, with the information and and Mr. Hill, what what is the situation with? Well, you said that you expect to have be employed by the end of this month, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. So if you could stay on task with that, then by the next time we meet, we probably have some information um, to provide. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'm depending on you guys to do what we need to happen to get this case move forward because we're kind of uh there's not a lot that we can do from from our end right now okay um so i'm going to dismiss both of you for a return on february the 2nd i've given miss shields her dcss case number in the chat just so that she has it when okay. she calls dcss or goes and speaks with them
Okay. Think they're about to okay, you got that. Thank you. Nothing but the mm -hmm. truth okay. under penalty of perjury. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mr. Johnson, I can't hear you. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I am showing that we didn't get anything on in the month of December. Did you send something in December, well, Mr. Johnson? Um, hey, Ms. Huffman, I um, I, I the Alabama still is taking stuff out. It's still set up in Alabama. The child support is set up in Alabama still. And um, shortly after our oh, last I meeting, I stopped. Yours. Okay. I stopped. Um, I stopped working. No, I, I lost my job. So right mm -hmm. now, I'm currently at an interview shadowing. Okay. Okay. And um, I do show that you paid fourteen hundred dollars in November. Um, and what what are your prospects for for employment, Ms. Huffman? Um, well, I travel. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I get this job or, or not. But I'm just shadowing. Um, okay. That's that's part of the requirement for getting these kind of jobs out of shadow. Okay. Okay. Um, so we don't want to do anything to harm that. So I'm not going to make it very lengthy. I'm going to put you back on the calendar for February the 2nd. Um, and do you think you can make any um, payments, um, you know, for January? Um, I don't know since I'm not, since I'm not, I haven't been working since our last case, but the last trial, but um, Alabama still, I don't know, Alabama's taking, still taking chunks. I haven't received a tax return in uh, maybe over two years. So, there, and I keep getting these letters saying that they took money from that. I just got a letter kind of like a month ago that is still mm -hmm. open in, in Alabama. Well, the most important thing is going to be though your, your current employment. So um, I'm going to need you to put a little bit more energy into job hunting so that we can get things back on track. Mm -hmm. Okay, because the, the money in the past appears to be um, very sporadic. And, uh, you know, you've managed to pay large sums. So I think that that has kept your arrearage down. But it's never, from what I have here, it's never really been consistent. And um, we do need consistency so that, you know, so that Mr. Johnson has the ability to know when he's going to get the money so that he can apply it towards the expenses of the but children. I, it's still going, I'm sorry to cut you off, but it's still going mm -hmm. through Alabama. That case is still open, to my knowledge. And now, what information do you have, Ms. Arena Camarillo, about Alabama? It's, <clears throat> well, they might have the order. This case is now set up to the UFSA office. That's the one enforced by the DA's office in DeKalb County. So payments need to be made to that office, and they will then send the payments to Alabama. Alabama has asked that Georgia enforce the order. So she needs to contact Georgia DCSS and start to get in touch with her agent that's in Georgia now. My they, then, agent. they then send the money to the other state. You have a UFSA case, an interstate case. And what agent are you referring to? I'll go. So when you call DCSS, you'll Google, mm -hmm. DCSS will pop right up. You're going to call that number and then they'll get you in touch with who you need to be in touch with. Okay. Okay. So yeah, because you might not have been talking to the right person at this point, but most well, I actually went we down there. To... Mm -hmm. I, that's what, I went down there. That was like last week and I got that information from the place. Um, here in, in, in I mean, it Georgia? looks like they've got an arrest order here in Georgia as well. Just to, it looks like, um, I mean, I'm trying to see if that's what's happening here. They've got some notes here. Okay. It says that they're going to enforce that once that's done. You've got a, you had a purge of $1,500 set. I mean, that's going to be through the Georgia office. So do, have you ever contacted them? I mean, I can keep looking through this, but have you ever, do you, are you aware? Does that ring some bells for you on who your agent is in Georgia or the office that you're supposed to be communicating with? No, I don't know anything about that. Okay. So you've, you've well, I, mean, I think that they you. have had no contact, so that's probably why things have, are escalating. So I think you better reach out to that Georgia office as soon as you, you know, hang up on this Zoom call because, um, you know, things may get to a point of no return if they aren't hearing from you at all. Okay. 
you have a oh, certain number? Just Google it or do you have a certain yeah, number? I can give it to you in your chat one second. I can do that for you. Um, because yes, it sounds like to be frank, they keep being told by you that there's it's Alabama and they keep explaining that Georgia is enforcing the order. So you just have to, it's hard to understand, but it's basically just Georgia is enforcing the order. Alabama still has an open case. They're communicating with Georgia. They've said to Georgia, hey, mom lives there. Please enforce the order for us since mom lives there. So you have an agent here and everything like that. Okay. Oh, okay. And they're who is going to enforce it. So I'm trying My to- My address is in Alabama though. Just for the record, yeah. my permanent address is in Alabama. Where are you right now at this job? Are you in Georgia or Alabama? Get their contracts to be closer to my son. Where you're standing okay. right now, is it in Georgia mm -hmm. or Alabama? Georgia. Okay. So that's going to be where you're living right now. That's where they're going to do it. Okay. 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 So do you have that number that you need? No, I've got to Google it. I mean, I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Her number. I want to make sure I get her the right one. And it's taken me a second for some reason. It should be much faster. Okay, so I have both of you scheduled for February the 2nd, so we can get an update in terms of what is going on in this case, okay? Okay. Okay, have you okay. heard from Mr. Um, Israel? You are Your Honor, if I could quickly Mr. update, I apologize no, for oh. interrupting. I just want to make, I haven't, the court just needs one quick piece of information. Uh, a more okay. recent payment was made January 2nd in the amount of $301.50. Oh. Yes, Your Honor, um, I'm, I'm also confused. If, I mean, if I may, um, mm -hmm, as, so far as, with, as far as with uh, the child support, I just noticed on the portal that his amount was changed. I don't know if that is because um, my oldest son is now 19. And is he taking off of, um, I guess, the case? Um, I didn't get any like information or updates or anything pertaining to anything. Um, so I'm just assuming that that's what happened. Well, I'm but showing as as I, I'm showing an amount of one thousand one hundred and seventy three dollars as Your the support. Honor, the Clayton no, County I'm, updated it to four hundred and fifty four dollars and eight okay. cents. So that was updated. Must have been the end of you know if I turn this calendar over to the court at the end of December. So that's recent. So I'm trying to see. Um, did you look at your order, Miss Jones? I'm actually, I'm I'm actually looking at it right now. Um, okay. and when I noticed the change. It was like a couple of days ago. And so I don't know when exactly that change took place. Um, but even prior to that, right, the original was 1173 plus 125 in a ridge. And he's behind. So what I'm asking um, you is that we, the judge and I want to make sure the $454.08 per month is correct. If we are able to get that. When you're looking at the order right now, is that what it says the amount is for the child that hasn't okay. emancipated? Do you see that? Let me go. To, let me go to the order. Um, so yes, I do see that. I, I see four fifty four oh eight plus one twenty five in arrearage um, payment. But who is that for? Is that for my daughter? So it's going to be for whoever. Is there only one child left on the order? Should say, and I apologize, I don't have the order. It's not from DeKalb's office. But if you're looking it at still it, still has the both of my children on the order. Where it says the four fifty four oh eight, does it say that's what it is when there's one child left? It just says support type child. Um, it doesn't have the specific. I'm just looking at where it has where it has the actual case number and it has the parent, which is me, the other parent, which is him. And then it has both of my children are on there. When did the other one emancipate? When did your eldest emancipate? Um, when he turned, well, it wasn't even when he turned 18 because he was still in school and I had to prove that to the um, courts that he was still in school. So I want to say it was in June of 2023 of last year when he graduated high school. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if they just didn't switch it over. Um, I'm trying to see if they've uploaded your order so we can take a look. But yes, if, if, if it's got that new amount, that's going to be the new amount. And if you only have one child remaining, it's just for the one child, the current obligation. Okay. Okay. And so with, to both. Okay. And then so with the payment, what was that for? Was that for the current, this new um yes, every, amount? Yes. Or yeah. was he yeah. making the because payment? he's not paying yeah, he's not paying enough for it to go towards a rearage. So that is for current support. 
but it still does not meet the amount because from what I'm showing is it's 301. And it, and it and it's hasn't. It's been so inconsistent for so long. That's why it's in a arrearage the way that it is. Right. Well, it um, doesn't disappear. Whatever he doesn't pay, it's going to flip right on over into more arrearage. Okay. And then once my daughter emancipates, um, because she turns 18, um, next weekend, but I've already sent over the paperwork to child support, letting them know as well that she's still going to be in school. Mm -hmm. Oh, he um, still has to pay that 58000 Um, Do you know whether there's any younger children that have been born? Um, he, they, he, he does have uh, a daughter. I want to say she's maybe six now. I, I don't know. I don't have contact with him. I'm just going mm -hmm. off of the years that I did know of this young um, child of okay. his. So, uh, so if that child is, you know, receiving child support through um, child support, she would get the, the primary amount at this point. And then, you know, you will just get a, a small amount until she turns 18 and then it can be more divided more equally. But, um, but at this point, um, you know, if we don't know whether that child is on child support or not, it's kind of, you know, premature, but, you know, you should still be getting your child support if she is not on any type of child support. Okay. And if that doesn't happen, and I'm only asking because we, this no, isn't our first, right. second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth time coming to court pertaining mm -hmm. to child abandonment. Right. Um, so what, if, if I may ask, what, what are my next steps? Well, I mean, it, of course it would be easier if he was present because there's just a lot of questions that we're not going to get answered because we don't know, um, what is, is going on, but, um, I'm going to put you back on the calendar to see whether he's going to appear and, you know, as long as he is making a significant amount of payment towards child support, then I have to leave it alone. But if he is not coming to court and not paying child support, then we're going to do an arrest order. And of course, at that point in time, you know, he's going to have to explain why, you know, he's not paying his total amount and exactly, you know, what is going on with the other child. Okay. 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 So I'm going to put you right back on for February the 2nd. I'm sorry it has to be so close, but I'm trying to make it such that. Oh, I actually appreciate it being closer okay. than further away. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm glad you understand. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So we have okay. February the 2nd. February the 2nd. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dismiss you. And of course, if you get any additional information, please update the court. Okay. Okay, then. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And you are dismissed. Your Honor, a more recent payment has been made. Mr. Moore paid on December 29th, $151.50. He paid directly to the DCFS office. Okay. Now, I don't know what to do with this because consistently these payments are low. And uh, let me see, you know, I mean, I, I don't know what his earning capability is, but it really is. Um, that's not quite where he needs to be. OK, so Mr. Moore, can you turn on your camera, please? Okay. OK, so, you know, Mr. Moore, I was just commenting your payments are consistently low. Your child support obligation is four hundred and. $29 plus 86 toward the arrearage and every 80. payment that I've seen has been in the hundred dollar range. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Um, the guy who I'm working for, so my employment, he said he's, they only want me to, um, file my own stuff. So they won't, they don't want to do that. Like a 10, nine employee, like my own contractor. Mm -hmm. So, um, Right now, I'm just, I have to send the money. I'm sending the money in right now. Right, but um, you know what your child support amount is, so why aren't you sending in your child support amount? I, I, I'm, I'm sending, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm sending the money in. I, 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 
within the last month, I sent. I know I did three payments. I, we did no, a payment last not. night. Huh? And, no, um, we're, we're only showing one payment for January in the amount of $151.50. Actually, I don't, I'm not even sure. Is that January or was that December? Miss Arena Camarillo for one fifty one fifty. The most recent one was there was December first, and then there was the recent payment of December twenty ninth. Okay, so we still don't even have a full payment <clears throat> for December, and we have nothing for January. Uh, yeah, I, I did Thursday. I, I'm able to do it on Thursday, so I, I I sent money in. I sent money in yesterday when they when I got the funds. So. so. Okay, but even if I, I okay, let, let's not even look at, at December because maybe you did pay some additional money in December. I show no payments in November, no payments in October, and one payment for $126.50 in September. I, I did more payments than that. Well, you're going to have to go into child support and straighten that out if you have receipts indicating that you have paid more. But I, I, well, I are you making payments every Thursday or do you have any additional children other than with Miss Watkins? I have five kids. And are any of the others on child support? Um, my Well, one of them, they took me off. One of them, they supposed to take me off, but I don't know how that's working with that because he well, he just graduated so he, he stays with me but he just graduated and um it just never went off the child support just never they just but he been with me for the last five years mm -hmm. but they had me they never stopped the child support they said it was some fee i had sent the fee in like it was 60 okay years, whatever okay hold, hold yeah hold on let me just have our attorney look that up can you tell me if there's so money being split I didn't see it being split. Let me look at it. He has one other active case. And Tasha Wyman. Where the custodial parent is Kentucky. Yeah, Miss Wyman. He was with me for five years. He's been with me for five years, but they just There's, never yeah, no money take it off. All the money is going to Miss Wa Miss Watkins first because she has a minor. Miss Wideman has a child who's emancipated. So that child's only going to get the arrears. <clears throat> Um, which are only two thousand three hundred and eleven dollars. She only gets she hasn't gotten money since two thousand twenty two because Miss Watkins' case hasn't been paid in full. Like the monthly obligation hasn't been met. Mm -hmm. So the problem, Mister Moore, is that you're not paying enough money, and you know you are responsible for paying four hundred and twenty nine dollars every month, and we are nowhere close to that amount. Can I not so, work? Hmm? If I'm able to make the payment, can I not like the reals? I, I'm that's super hard right now with the kids. With this, uh, we're not we're not even asking for arrears because that's not through this court. I'm only asking for current support. Your current support is four hundred and twenty nine dollars a month. Yes, ma'am. So you know what can you do to get you know to that amount? Uh, you know because even even if you made two payments a month. You still wouldn't be at the four twenty nine unless you increase these payments. I'm I, I, I'm gonna try to. What I'm doing now is I'm obligating because he's not gonna put it in the system. I'm gonna just send one twenty. What I'm able to send when I get these checks from them, I can send one twenty on the Thursdays. And now is that's going to be every Thursday. Yes, ma'am. That's that, that's how I, I, I try to send it on Thursday or the Friday morning. I had the money come in, Lizelle it to me. Okay, so I'm putting down $120 every Thursday, which that would put you at somewhere around $480. What um, the money would? You know what? 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 All the money would go then? What is? Do I have to keep paying for the other child support too, or how is that going to work? You You still have your still. Those obligations are still going to be there, but the majority of the money is going to go to Miss Watkins because her child is you know still a minor okay. yeah I got, I got three i got three minors okay well it only counts if they're if they're you know if they're 
custodial parent has them on child support. Okay, so um, so if you do the hundred and twenty dollars every Thursday, we should be okay. So I'm going to set you down for a reset on March the first, so that we can see whether you're, you know, holding to this, you know, commitment of making payments every Thursday. I'm, I'm, okay. Look, yes. Yes, ma'am. Um, if all right, so I told you one twenty. Well, if it's one ten to one twenty every Thursday, am I still gonna be okay? At I that mean, point? I mean, I'm I'm gonna consider everything. You know, I mean, we but we just need to get a lot closer to this four hundred and thirty dollar payment. I think if you did one ten, you would still be there, but it's gonna depend on how consistent you are. Okay, so let's focus, you know. I'm, I'm make sure I focus on getting it done every week. I'm yeah, okay sure. then. Okay. But I'm a, I just continue to. I'm gonna only continue to pay it. You know, you know how I've been doing it through the system. So mm -hmm. instead of worrying about the employer. Okay, and you know, um, I know I know it's um not pleasant, but you know if you have you know this number of children, you might need to consider getting a second job because you really need to you know, stay on top of this and provide support for each of your children. Okay. But I'm going to, you know, but this is the only one that I'm required to review at this point in time. So we're going to cut, get back on March the 1st and I will evaluate it at that time. Okay. And that's that going to be okay, Ms. Watkins? Um, that's fine. I, I'm just trying, I guess I'm concerned about what happens at that point because we've been going through this for almost, nine eight nine months now and right. it's, it hasn't been consistent and i just need some help at this point okay. so okay 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 then understood and um uh, hopefully then um we'll see what we're where we're at on march the first so both of you are dismissed nothing but the Thank truth you. under penalty mm -hmm. of perjury yes okay okay mr savage i can't hear you Oh, uh, yes. Okay. So, first of all, um, I don't have any payments. Um, have you made any payments towards this child support case, Mr. Savage? No, I haven't. And why is that? I ain't got no job. And what are you doing to correct that situation? I'm looking for a job. Okay, and how long have you he been working? He said he at work right now. That says in the work. I'm in the house. You told me you was working. You said you're out of town. You said you're out of town working. So how you don't okay. have a job? I know. Okay, okay, wait. We're not going to go back and forth. So, Mr. Savage, remember, you are under oath. Are you working a job? I'm not working. Okay, and how and when are you going to correct this? I'm trying to correct it now. I'm okay. a student. I've been, okay. I've been well, in that school. Yeah, but that doesn't have anything to do with child support. If you're a student, know, then you need to work a job alongside. Okay, so when do you anticipate being able to work a job and start providing child support? As soon as possible. Okay. Well, I'm going to put you right back on the calendar for February the 2nd. Um, so that's not going to give you a lot of time. So what I'm trying to tell you is you're not looking for your ideal job. You are looking for a job so that you can. He start has a job. Him. He told me he can't get him because he's working. So if he's not working, then why he can't get him? And that I can't answer for you. Can but you ask him I, that? Okay, so Mr. Savage, it's my understanding okay, that you it. told her that you could not take care of the child because of your job situation. I said I'm looking for a job. No, he said he's working seven days okay. a week. He has so no I, days I, off. Yeah, so he and I, I can't. Yeah, I can't get. In, I can't get into that. Um, but what we are going to require, Mr. Savage, is that you do need to get a job, and you uh, need to start paying child support. And I need to have, let's see, 198 plus 25. So, you know, you have a very low child support amount. So I hope you appreciate that. But you need to have $223 
um, towards child support by February the 2nd. You understand? Okay. 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 So, you know, um, you know, let's take this seriously because I don't think that Ms. Carter would have any problem with signing that arrest warrant. So I don't want oh, I know to, she's to, trying to sign you. So right. what happens at this point with the warrant? Because now he's playing. He told me he's working. He's telling you he's not working. He must she get told paid. Me to pay it, I'm gonna pay it, man. What Listen, I'm not that? talking to you. Okay. What okay. happens okay. now with the warrant? <laughs> because no. you just sat here and told me okay. you worked seven Ms. Carter, I don't want to. I don't want to have to to mute you and shut you down. But we're not. I'm asking you a question. Before. I wasn't talking to him. What happens okay, now so, with the warrant? Okay, so let me answer. We do not have a warrant right now. The if you listen to the opening, we commonly reset cases to give the non-custodial parent the opportunity to make right and pay their child support. So that's what's going to be happening this month. On February the 2nd, if he has not paid any child support and it appears that he's taking it as casually as he's taking it today, then I will have you come in, sign the warrant, and we will move things forward from then. Okay. But I am sure oh. that knowing what the consequence is going to be, I think Mr. Savage is going to come up with the money. So February 2nd, he has to make a payment how? And how he is going to make a payment to child support um, in the amount of $223. Let me see. This order started. That would be for December. No, I'm sorry. That would be for January. And then he needs to be prepared to start making that next payment for February. <clears throat> okay. And okay. we might have to put him right back on again for my next calendar if he still is taking it very lightly. So if he makes the payment February and then doesn't make another payment, then we have to start the process all over. No, I'm not going to dismiss this case because he makes one payment. Okay. We'll just be back on the calendar again so that I can observe. And then the other thing is, is payments are one thing, but I need to see that he actually gets a job. Um, and so we're going to be, here together until he can prove that he is gainfully employed and we can start getting payments from the employer. Okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna dismiss both of you and I will see you on February the 2nd. Okay. Your Honor, an update okay. on the position that is about to come in is there was a recent payment made by Mr. Scott on January 2nd in the amount of $81.38. He made it directly huh? to CCSS. Okay. I made what? How much of a payment? Eighty-one dollar and thirty-eight cent payment. Is that does that sound familiar? No, it was three hundred. Do oh. you have other child support obligations? Well, it, that, that's Are there other canceled. children? Hmm? Yes, yes, but that's supposed to be canceled. I paid that canceled payment and everything. Okay, let me see what child support has. I'll have to look up his other cases really quick. When did you pay the 300? Did you pay it all on December 24th or have you paid it after that? Yeah, I paid it on December. Uh, I, I paid the 300 and I paid the uh When did you pay the 300? What was the date that you paid the 300? I'm not for sure. I would have to look on my email. Uh, But it was in December and I made the 300 payment and I paid the cancellation fee for the uh, the other child support case. One second. And was that an, in addition to the three hundred? Yeah, I paid the three hundred plus the member. The cancellation fee was like twenty three dollars or okay. something like that. That's not what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that your other case with Miss Carnella Cirquiera. Yes. One hundred and ninety five dollars went towards her case. See that that now I don't know why that went towards that and, and her case her case was closed. So her case is not showing up as closed. Um, you were advised on December 29th when you called DCSS that the case was active. You were told you'd have to no, pay. No, I wasn't advised. I'm, let that. me finish if you don't mind. You were advised that you have to pay the closure fee. So what? Hold on. So what I exactly. would do if I was you. 
I do see what you're saying to be true, that you were told there was a closure fee and that somehow it appears that it's been confusing to them how the money, what it was for. I don't know if it all came in through the portal or as one thing, but you need to call them today um, because what they did was um, they did not close the case. It's been applied to both cases, but you just need to call them. It'll be a simple thing for them to fix. They'll see it in their own notes that they need to fix it. Okay. And I, I, I thank you. I thank you for explaining that to the judge because I actually paid the 300. Yeah. It looks like he did pay it. Your honor. I do see that he was told mm -hmm. that it was like 20 bucks would go towards closing mm -hmm. the case. However, I, what I'm imagining is that then when the funds come through, they don't go back and look at the documentation. The like notes, the closure right. has okay. to be like a specific come to the office with that money. And then, you know, it gets applied to that, but now he just needs to call and he just needs to get both cases and say, look, on one of the cases, it was supposed to close out that account and it didn't. So let me know what, you know, they should be able to okay. fix it. Okay. I, I thank you for explaining that to the judge because mm -hmm. I, I actually, you know, tried to do what I was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank okay. You. And I, I, and I appreciate that, but we do need to get this straightened out because the problem is, is the one who suffers is Miss Bowler because she doesn't get her full amount of money. Um, at this point. So we need to get it resolved so that moving forward, things are correct. So are you paying this $300 every month? It, yes, I will be paying it every month. Okay. Okay. So do you but already... I, I do need... Uh, is it a way that y'all can send me out a form... Uh, so I can get it re reducted, I mean, reduced? No, what, what you need to do is you need to go into child support this time with that $300 and give those instructions. And that way you will have your receipts indicating exactly what you instructed them to do and make sure that it's correct so that you can make sure that that other case gets closed at this point. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, and then to make sure that Miss Bowler gets the $300 that she's entitled to. Okay? See, and that, that's what I've been trying to do this whole time. Like when I when I was paying child support, they was taking from her to the other kids. That's right. why uh, she closed the case. The other baby mama, she closed the case. For that to happen, but it's, it seemed like it's, it's never happening the way that I'm trying to do. I'm trying and I to think, pay. yeah, and I think child support is right. I think you have to go in there physically because what's happening is that you're giving instructions to one person and then days later, the money arrives and it goes to a different person who isn't looking at the notes. So they're just going by our typical standard procedure with regards to child support money, which it gets split amongst the mothers. That's right. why she said, you go in there with this next $300, give those instructions so that moving forward, you don't have to worry about this happening anymore. Because what you're depending yeah. on is you're depending on the notes being linked to the money and it's not happening. You know, you need to go in there and make sure that that happens. Yeah. Cause I, I had called them and uh, I had explained to them on the phone and they told me, you know, to make the separate payments. Like I paid on mm -hmm. two, two different cases. I paid mm -hmm. on uh, the, the other child's, the other children's mother, I paid on their case, mm -hmm. which was supposed to close that case. And then I paid the 300 to her well, case. I under, understand that yeah. when, when the money gets to them, they're looking out for all the mothers, not just one. So right. you have to be there in person to give those instructions or else they will continue to look out for all the mothers. Okay. okay? They didn't, they didn't, they told me different, but I, yeah. I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I understand what right. you're saying. And I think, you know, you may be telling one person something, but then it's a different person who's handling the money because it's right. all disconnected. Okay. So I want you to go ahead and make that $300 payment this time, but I want you to take it in. And then I am going to see you again on February the 2nd, um, 2024, so that we can make. Yes. Man, do we really have to keep? 
Yes. Come to court, I, and I, I promise mm -hmm. I'll pay. I'm gonna make. My I understand, payment. but we have no way to the same way the the um, child support has problems putting things together when the person isn't there. The same thing happens with this court. If you are not here, we are going to have some kind of confusion, and that's why I prefer that you be here and we make sure that it happens correctly. And hopefully, when you do it this next time. That's going to be it. I'm, I'm not trying to make you keep coming to court forever. I just want to make sure that things are appropriately closed and they go move forward. And then I don't make you come back in again. OK. 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 So I'm going to dismiss both of you for now. And um, I will see you on February the 2nd. Good luck to you. Uh, yeah. Y'all going to send me out. Uh, you will get a notice okay. from Miss Lanier. Yes. Uh, but okay. I prefer, But in the meantime. You have to physically go into child support, okay? Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so both of you it. are Say dismissed. Say something, Jordan. I'm not sure All if your right. sound okay. is working. And... No, it's not. Can you do? Can you turn on your audio, please? There should be something that says "connect to audio." time mr stroud um i am not showing any payments for you not since may the 8th um yes ma'am i start my new job next week and i was gonna put you guys down so you can start taking the deductions out my check now you understand though that um it takes a while for that to start so you have to make the payments yourself until you start seeing the monies coming out of your paycheck. Okay. And okay. you owe, you know, $400 um, for January. And then you're going to owe $400 for February. And I'm putting you down for the February, the second calendar. So, um, oh, was that? Mr. Hey. Okay. Okay. So you need to start making those payments, you, um, you know, directly until they start taking money out. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Okay. So Miss Jordan, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yes. Now I do hear you. Okay. So we're going to have him go ahead and start making those payments directly to you. Uh, for the $400. So you should be receiving something in, you know, at least one or two payments in January. And then we are going to meet on February the 2nd so that we can make sure that things are moving forward the way that they should. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So I'm going to dismiss both of you, but remember I am watching your account to make sure that things are moving forward. Okay. okay. Thank you. You are dismissed. Okay. Okay. Uh, next is Eddie Temple the third and Dara Ross. Mr. Temple never answered this morning. Hmm. He did not. Okay, Miss Ross, have you heard from Mr. Temple? No, we don't communicate. <laughs> okay, and um and from my records, it says that the last payment you received was in July. Is that accurate? Yes, that is. Okay. Have you already signed a um, an arrest warrant? Um, I believe I did. I went to the courthouse in November when I initially filed. Mm -hmm. And I want to say that was one of the requirements, if I'm right. not mistaken. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't we sure. just it had was a, a minute. We just had a change in process. So I think the court says yes that you did. So I'm going to go ahead and have that arrest warrant issued because um, we've already sent notice to the addresses that we have, and we're not hearing back from him. So we kind of don't have many options here other than to go ahead with the arrest warrant. Okay. Okay, do you, um, because I'm getting like weird calls and text messages and stuff, and I'm sure it's him, but I don't try to communicate with him. Do you recommend mm -hmm. a restraining order in a situation like this? For a restraining order, you do have to have proof. Um, un unavailable, unknown numbers that are unidentified, it's not going to give you enough evidence. 
Okay. okay. Understood. Okay. okay. So I'm going to go ahead and move things forward. Of course, you will not be back here with me. Your case is going to move to state court and, you know, we'll just have to go through the, the process. But um, fortunately, he's not being responsive. So there's not much we can do. OK. 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 Good luck to you. Thank you. Okay. Yes, I'm here. Awesome. OK, so um, we did not hear from Mr. Watkins. Have you heard from him at all? No, I haven't, but he has not. Um, I know that he was present last time for court mm -hmm. and everything that he mentioned was all lies. I really didn't have the chance to really, you know, um, explain, mm -hmm. but um, he had said he could pay the full balance <clears throat> by the end of the week. Of course, that mm -hmm. didn't happen. He said that he wanted to keep his address the same and he didn't even want to update the court. So it's like a actual, mm -hmm. okay. like another address, you know. So it's not I like he I doesn't remember have that. Mm -hmm. Right. So he gave this this long story about how he was so-called sick. He doesn't work. That's neither here mm -hmm. or there. Um, he has this order that has been created by the courts, honestly, was created back in 2020. So it's been mm -hmm. four years and this man has not paid not one dime. Okay. And he well, stood I before here and, and lied before you mm -hmm. and, and did not has not paid a, a dime. And now he's not even here. So I do find that to be a wanton and willful act of refusing to pay child support. I gave him the opportunity. He's not here. So we are going to go ahead and move forward with an arrest warrant. Have you already signed one for the court or do you need? Oh, no, yes. you, did, you have. You've signed. The, yes. So we're going to just move forward. Um, and of course, you won't be back here. The next court you'll be in will be state court. But we'll we don't have. We tried to get him to cooperate and he chose not to. So that's going to yeah. be the next step. Okay. Okay. Now I have a question. Will I be notified mm -hmm. of like a, I guess, state court whenever we have to? Yeah. Yeah. When I, because you're, you're going to have to have a court hearing so that we can resolve things. So yes, you will get notice and, um, you know, and you'll be summoned to come to that court for the next hearing that you have, or it could okay, be a, a trial. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, then. Good luck to you. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. There is an update on this case. The respondent did make a payment on December 26th in the amount of $81.22. He paid it directly. Okay. Thank you. What happened? Oh, we do have a payment of $81.22 that was made in this case. Okay. So, um, Ms. Ridley... Um, let me what have happened? both of, of you raise your uh -huh. right hands, please. Oops, Miss Ridley. Okay, there we go. Uh, do you swear that the testimony that you're about to present is the truth and nothing but the truth under penalty of perjury? Yes. yes. Okay. So, um, Mr. Clark, I do show that you made a payment recently of $81.22, but your child support amount is $260 to meet your current support obligation. Are you working? Um, Not really, but on and off, I have had been, I've just been doing like lift. So that's what I've been doing lately. Mm -hmm. But what I did when I make the payment, it just that all of it don't go to her. I tried mm -hmm. to send it directly to her, but I did not pay the whole 250. I did not, I paid 150, but I guess mm -hmm. it just sent her 80 of it. Cause I also have another Correct. child support case. That is correct. Um, attorney Arena Camarillo, can you look at that other case? Tell me if that's new or whether that child might be coming close to the age of 18 or any. No, nah, he's only. How old? He's 13. Uh, no, nah, he's 14. I think 14. So we still have a while. Um, yeah. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make a, a higher child support payment so that this child support obligation can be met. Um, yes. You know, that's the only way that Miss Ridley is going to get her $260. Yes, um, so, you know, typically with, um, you know, with Lyft, you should be able to make enough money, you know, to pay this child support as well as taking care of the, um, the other child. So are you, are you not working a lot of hours? 
No, I just I just started it. I had to wait till they, you know, let me on board mm -hmm. and go through the apps and all that. So but when I talked to you last time, I did had I had got a little job, but it was like I guess it was just only for the holidays. So once that was over, it was over with. So that's when I just tried to pick up on the lift and do that now right. to something come okay. about. Okay, because you know, um, you've got eighteen thousand dollars worth of arrearages sitting here as well. So, um, you know, we really need to get back on course because every month it's going to keep getting higher and higher. And even when yeah. these children reach eighteen, it doesn't disappear. It's still there. You're going to have to pay this off. So, it is definitely of a higher advantage to your children if you can make significant payments while they're young so you know that we can put it towards their education and you know towards the things that enrich young children so yes, um i'm going to put you back on my calendar for march the first uh give you a chance to settle into you know lift and begin making you know the money you are going to have to make your payments directly to the court but you need to at a minimum you're probably going to need, well, let me just check with child support. What is his other um, child support obligation? I'm thinking you're going to be needing to pay about 500 in. $225. 225 Okay. Yeah. So if you were making payments of 500 probably both parents would be getting what they need to keep things going. Okay? Yes. yes. Okay. I, I like, so, I'm not trying to cut no one off. I just no, have a right to say something. Because I just... Mm -hmm. Um, for as Mr. Clark making payments, I can't say that he do try like he said me because we do have another child. But yeah, um, he do need to be higher. And far as like even with babysitting, like I'm having to come out my pocket daily. Like I work even weekends, I work so this is like extra money and like it's like more money on my end that I spend. Like and even with like time, I know you're not the ones to say a word about time, but why is we here? Because even if he get them time, there, there could be some money deducted too. Because babysitting is a lot, and it come out my money, out my pocket. Mm -hmm. And every time we come, it just constantly reward um over and over having another case. And if you want to, we can actually stop here. And I hope Mr. Clark, um, we don't have to come back to you because I'm in an actually another county. So if Mr. Clark don't make no effort like he hopefully he should make payment more payment because i know he's supposed to be sending me a hundred um today so if not um I'm, i actually don't even live in DeKalb county you can exit it's off your calendar because if i have to come back to um this abandonment court i'll be going to a full to county where i originally live so if you could scratch us off this calendar and in moving forward if i have to make an abandonment warrant i'm gonna take it out in another county so hopefully i don't have to do that mm -hmm. so so you're saying that you don't want the hearing on March the 1st? Yeah, because I, I, I'm, I'm not in the cab county no more. And it's right. like every time, like, it's like basically the same thing. So I prefer us to get, I prefer me to get stretched out this calendar. And if I do have to take out another abandonment warrant, hopefully I don't. I go to the county, another county, and we'll handle it from okay. there and they can pick it up. So, okay. yeah. So. Okay. So, oh. Mr. Clark, do, do you understand what's going on? Because I, you know. You know, it, it seems like Miss Ridley is willing to to work with you if you're willing to help her more with payments and caring for the child. So, you know, so that she doesn't have to keep going through the court system, but she will reopen the case in Fulton County if you don't, you know, hold to your word. So do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I'm hoping that you, you know, can do that so that she doesn't have to. But, you know, just understand she's not dropping the matter. She's just trying to move it to a different county. So you you still need to, you know, to do your part with helping her to take care of this child. But for, with regards to DeKalb County, I am dismissing this matter today. OK. Yes, ma'am. OK. OK, then. Good luck to both of you. OK, thank uh you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. All right. Have okay. Bye-bye.